Okay, I guess I'll talk about the Wagner Group. It was an eventful day. I, I was on the edge of my seat, like watching text updates on that that were behind people posting random videos on Twitter. So the Wagner, gr the Wagner Group, who I'm from here on out going to pronounce incorrectly as the Wagner Group, are a Russian PMC, meaning um, professional managerial class organization. No, actually, <laughs> that's a joke. They are a private military company who are basically like somehow one of the most effective Russian military forces, which is just embarrassing for the rest of the Russian military. And I don't really know why they they obviously this this was all done with like the like the um like the permission of Putin and everything. I don't know why they had these guys like form a fucking PMC instead of just like making new military units and giving them the command of them or something. It doesn't really make any sense. Like I don't understand anything about why why fucking Wagner exists, but it does since like the, the Donbass conflict and all of that. And they've become quite powerful. And their leader with the name that I can't pronounce, where is it? Prigozhin. Okay, that was actually pretty easy to pronounce. Or Prigozhin. I don't know how the fuck you speak Russian. How do you speak Russian? You say, нет, нет, давай, давай нет, vodka. But anyway, so he's been like very critical of like the like the military high command of um, the, the normal Russian military who he accuses of all sorts of bad stuff. And like a couple of days ago, he accused them of doing more bad stuff. And then he like ordered his troops to like um, form a column and like head to Moscow. And they apparently captured a city or two along the way, according to them without firing a shot. Um, not sure if that's true. It doesn't seem like it because they shot down a couple of planes from what a lot of people are saying. But um, so that happened. And like when they were like, nearly at Moscow apparently he like held talks with Lukashenko like the Belarusian president for some reason and they just sort of backed off which was interesting because it did kind of seem like some shit was going to go down and then it just shit just randomly didn't go down which makes me feel like it was a psyop or something because it's just so weird like there didn't seem to be that much fear or urgency on like the other side it was like the biggest like anti-climax of any possible like big event I could imagine it was it was like when you wanted to find out that the billionaires and the submarine had like run out of oxygen and then you find out they just ex imploded and it's like god damn it it's the same sort of thing i wanted shit to go down i wanted something cool to happen and nothing happened i mean maybe trick ukraine into an offensive i think that wouldn't work because they really did move all the troops there they really did move tons of troops there so it wouldn't really be tricking ukraine into an offensive it would be just weakening the front so that ukraine can mount an offensive it was just bizarre like if it was like actually like a real um like he actually, you know, did this seriously and he really intended to march on Moscow or do any of the things that he had actually claimed that he was aiming to do, then Prigozhin is just a fucking idiot. Like, what was that about? What a fucking insane bastard. Don't get me wrong, like 25,000 troops probably could mount a pretty effective fucking coup attempt. That would be one of the biggest coup attempts I've ever heard of in my life. Especially given that, you know, most Russian units are in Ukraine right now and they'd have to turn around and like fucking chase them. But I don't know how the logistics of that would even work. I don't, I don't really understand it. I don't really understand what they were going for. And yeah, I don't understand what they're going to do from here. Like, what, what the fuck? They're just going to go back to Ukraine and fight fight for Russia again like nothing ever happened? They just dropped all the charges against Prigozhin and all the other Wagner guys and they're just like going to continue like business as usual? It's just such a bizarre thing. It's just really weird. I did say, like, if there's anything that, like, ends this war or, like get some sort of favorable result for Ukraine, the only way that it'll happen will be like a coup against Putin or like an assassination of Putin or something. And him like possibly being replaced with very likely to be someone who would also be like a, a nationalist right-wing guy like Putin, but someone who might might have like a bit more rationality in their brain to realize that the war isn't good for Russia. And I, I thought like maybe that would happen here, but it didn't even come close. Like it was just a, a wet fart in the end. I guess Wagner Maoism really isn't what, you know, really isn't what they say it is. It really isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Like the invasion of Ukraine has to be like one of the biggest, most bizarre military events in modern history overall. Like everything about it has just been just really stupid from the very beginning. Just even mounting in the first place.